Can I turn to another matter today? We hear the, the government is looking at um, changes on sports uh, betting, uh, advertising. So during the footy game or the cricket match or whatever, uh, where you can see all the, the ads pop up with the odds and uh, the, you know, the advertisement for the sports bet, uh, the government's looking at banning those in-match advertisements. What do you think about that idea? Yeah, the government seems to have become very anal retentive about uh, gambling full stop. We had the, the bill go through the Senate just a few week, couple of weeks ago uh, to ban online or attempt to ban online gambling, including online poker or in, in sports betting uh, as well as an, online uh, poker. Um, I mean, I, I, my view in the Supreme Court of the United States is that advertising, unless it's for an illegal uh, practice, is a free speech issue. I view it as as a communication, uh, communication should be free, unless it's advocating something illegal. So I, I wouldn't support that kind of attitude at all. It's based on disapproval of gambling. Um, you know, uh, Wowserish, nanny state, um, whatever you want to call it, that's, that's where it, what motivates it. And once we start legislating based on disapproval, where does it end? You know, there's a lot of things that uh, we all disapprove of. Do we want to but, I mean, we, we, we have started down this path already, haven't we? We don't uh, allow cigarette advertising anymore. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure you would uh, disagree with that, though. Yeah. You, you would say we should still be able to advertise for products that are legal. I do. I do. The product is legal. I don't approve of cigarette smoking. I don't smoke myself. I don't advocate it. But um, if, it's if it's a legal product and you're not breaking the law uh, by, by acting on the advertising, if, uh, if you choose to do so, uh, the advertising should not be illegal, illegal, prohibited. It's a free speech issue. What about the issue of kids, though? And this is what many point to. Why should they be uh, subjected to this if they're just trying to watch their favourite sporting team, their footy club, uh, their footy team? And, and, and that sort of advertising can change the way they view sport, uh, at, where you know, kids are often now talking more about the odds uh, rather than the skills of the player. Well, that... Well, yes. I mean, it's still a matter of disapproval, saying, oh, well, somebody, a bureaucrat, a politician, is saying, oh, no, we shouldn't expose kids to things like that. Who are they to say? That's the real question. Who are they to tell, um, uh, to tell parents, essentially, uh, your kids uh, shouldn't be exposed to this stuff? What if you, as a parent, have a different point of view? You know, aren't, don't you have uh, a prior right uh, to the bureaucrats and the politicians who want to control what your kids see on TV? You know, there probably are some things, I'm not an absolutist on this sort of thing when it involves kids, there are probably some things, things you don't want to expose kids to, but they certainly don't involve uh, uh, odds on uh, gambling during sport. I don't think that's, a, that's anything to do with the government or bureaucrats, it's a matter of parents. You don't want, want your kids to see that, don't let them watch TV.